Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of A West of Loathing. Been a bit of a crazy week for me. Um, you know, I've been kind of decompressing, doing a bunch of things that I just enjoy doing, hanging out with family and everything, but I absolutely, absolutely did miss recording, so I'm very, very happy to get back to this, because this is my thing that helps me decompress as well, and just the thing that I enjoy doing. My days felt weird without it, so... It is good to be back. Now, what in the absolute hell was I doing is the big question. Uh, hey. We did it. Yep. S1 Necromancer is from Master's Last Neck. High five. Boom. Uh, what should we do next? Uh, glad to see, uh, them eyeballs of yours cleared up. Ready to get after that Norton Weasel? Let's head back to Frisco and pick up the trail. Any other ideas? Mind you, the geologist she met in Frisco. How you told her you'd bring her an interesting rock. That's all we can think of. Okay, so... <clears throat> I mean, there's there's more of the, um... Whatchamacallit stuff over there in Deepest Delve, right? There's more of that, too. So... Hmm. Uh, let me just go kind of remind myself of a few things, because, yeah, obviously it has, uh been a minute so uh let me let me just go remind myself of a few things here oh oh hey a new area on the side of the trail you see a big billboard reading alamo rent a mule this way you mark the location down on your map in case you're ever in the market to rent a mule you just never know um i'm gonna keep going where i'm going for now i knew th there had to be some more areas up here because yeah um we had not clearly seen everything over here yet, but... Okay, yeah, so... <clears throat> we're back over here, and it says West Roberto Containment Power Offline. East Roberto Containment Power Offline. Positronic Resonator Detected. But I get nothing else about that. And yeah, I remember talking about this. I was like, there's this East and West thing here. With the containment power. I need to figure out what is going on with that. Um... So, yeah, let's get back to that. I think it's a bunch of this stuff. So, I'm at the Curious Cops right now. Um, I think it's something to do with this. Because I I don't think I ever figured out what exactly was going on here. And this does specifically mention power. And it was saying, like, the power, the, 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 the containment thing was offline and all of that jazz. So, I think it's something to do with this. I just kind of have to fiddle with it and see... Terminal corruption detected. Primary terminal. Please select secondary terminal. See that kind of stuff? Hmm. Hmm. I'm wondering if this is what... It said east and west. This is the only other time I've seen east-west. There must be some specific orientation I have to get that into. To have it work? Possibly? We have a few different terminals here that we can mess around with. So, it's... Definitely something to do with this, I I think. Current construction offline, power offline, matter pi pipeline offline. So maybe if I can restore the power to the construction. Military, municipal, construction terminal. Maybe if I can restore that stuff, we're good. Okay, so what about this? So I'm currently looking at the matter pipeline. That's one of the things that I need. What if I change the source to planetary matter teleporter? and the destination to the North Central Construction Facility, which is where we're at right now, I believe. So, matter pipeline source, destination here. So, if I go back to the pipeline terminal, and then back to the primary terminal, if I look at construction now, matter pipeline is online, there we go. Okay, so that is how I do it. Okay, this was just a very confusing, like, nest of things that you can interact with. Okay, so... Now if we put the power... ...on, which I'm guessing is the solar array? Yeah, that's the problem, huh? I don't really know how to make that work. I need to find out a way to, um... ...have the solar array actually connect to that, but I don't- I don't really know how to do that yet. I guess power pipeline? If we adjust that, so source... 
local solar array, destination, if I set that to this, the North Central Construction Facility, go back, go back, go to construction, insufficient magnitude. Okay, its power is online, but there's insufficient magnitude, so... Solar array, hmm... I guess I need to, like, increase the power... ...some way here? North, north, north... Huh... Yeah, I'm just trying to... I mean, it seems like if I just keep pressing north, it just... ...keeps going up. Okay, no, until we hit that. Okay. Now what? No. East? Yeah. Okay. 600, is that the max? No. Huh. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe. okay, let's go back to primary terminal now. Now go to construction. Online. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> okay, that is a wild... Okay, that, that took a minute. That took a minute of me just futzing with it. But we got it. Honestly, I was getting this mixed up with the area where you choose, like... Um, the language area that has, like, a bunch of different things to choose from. Like, you have the language, you can spawn the thing that makes the weird noises and stuff like that. I might not have done that correctly, though, because I just basically trialed and aired it. There might have been another way to do that, so... Select construction, military construction? Solar destruction cannon, military personnel containment array? Auditory personnel destruction cannon, construction terminal. What? Municipal? Planetary temperature containment, local bride beacon, antipsychotic sedative system, construction terminal. Oh, well, I mean, that's just going back here. And then, okay. So, I can only select military or municipal. I mean, the military personnel containment array sounds like it could be useful. Construction corrupt and de corruption detected. So, we can only do certain things. I see. Solar destruction cannon? Okay. Maybe that's what it's doing. So, that couldn't. This? Nope. Construction. Huh. Okay, so we can't do any of the military ones. Municipal? Construction corruption detected. Am I doing something wrong here? Uh, bridge beacon? <gasps> Current construction local bridge beacon. Okay, that I can make. What about... The sedative system? No. Um... And, yeah, so it's gotta be the bridge beacon. The bridge beacon's the only thing it'll let me make. The terminal beeps loudly, a slot opens below the screen, and a small model bridge falls out and clatters to the floor. Maybe there used to be a table there or something. El Vibrato model bridge. Model bridge made out of El Vibrato material. I think it's meant to act as some kind of blueprint. What? What? I'm confused. There's so much stuff here that I just had never bothered with, really. Um, select construction. So was there like a bridge thing that I could use this for? No, I, I don't. I, I think we might just be done with that now. Yeah, beacon. Hmm. Okay, so we might be done with the construction terminal. <laughs> the stupid coffee maker terminal. Um... Increased temperature... Mm, I, don't, I don't know what the point of this is. Mitch a harsh buzz, but nothing else. I could probably make this work if I mess with the pipeline, right? So, for the coffee machine to work, it would need fluid, probably, right? So, organic, power, matter... So, fluid. So, source, municipal toilet system is the only thing I could get fluid from. Source, co destination, coffee maker. Okay, um... Okay, we have it. Harsh buzz, but nothing else. No, I guess that's not what it wants. What is this for? Oh, God. Oh, wait, I need to give the coffee maker 
power. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would probably be needed, huh? Harsh buzz, but nothing else. Even if it has power now? Feed you scratch next to a single press the button, harsh buzz. Hmm. Yeah. So this is the North Central Construction Facility. If I go to the power pipeline, um, there is an option to select the Southwest Construction Facility as a destination. So if this is the North West, Southwest would be somewhere down here. Oh wait, no, North, North, yeah, never mind. I, for some reason I was thinking we were a deepest elf. My god. So yeah, this is North Central Construction Facility. So if there's a North Central, there's a Southwest Construction Facility. I don't think the abandoned mine had anything. But that would be my only other option, because I don't think the Shroom Cave had any thing like that. And if this is central, this would have to be west. Okay. So, alright. L let me just make sure power's going over there. I don't know what's going on with the coffee machine. Maybe I'll... Maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll figure it out. But power, we need to make sure, is being routed to the southwest... Yeah, construction facility. Okay, so let's go see if we can figure some stuff out, shall we? Okay, no, this is the west... Central storage facility. But this isn't in the central area. This is in the. Huh. So if southwest, it has to be like somewhere down here then. Right? I, I thought central was meaning it was to the north and it was in the central bit of the map. North central. But if this is. If this is the West Central Storage Facility, that... Huh. Alright, um... I... I checked out a few of the things over there, I didn't see anything. And it makes sense to me that if it was Southwest, it would be in this bottom portion of the desolate coast that I just haven't found anything in yet. So I think I just need to explore a bit. So, I ran into this on the way over there. Gurgling hiss draws you, your attention to a nearby skeleton. Honestly, just the fact that there's a skeleton here should have been enough to draw your attention, but I guess you're getting used to them. This one's wearing rusted antique conquistador armor, caked with mud and rotting seaweed, and waving a waterlogged old blunderbuss at you. Be afraid of you, are you kidding me? You didn't even survive getting off the boat. Oh, I'm shaking in my boots. My boots which are nice and dry, cause I didn't fall off a galley and drown on my way to conquering a foreign land. Maybe you should have had a pool noodle instead of that blunderbuss El Capitano Cinco de Moron. Skeleton gets so angry he can't even properly aim anymore. He petulantly throws his gun on the ground and storms away. A muck-clogged blunderbuss. Thanks. Okay, so uh, I went all the way over here so that I could uh, wander some more down in this area because it really feels like there's got to be some stuff there. As you realize you've ridden into the midst of a herd of ghastly floating cowheads, Heard that some ranchers, in a desperate effort to avoid the homecoming, deliberately drove their entire herds into the ocean. That's what happened here, it didn't work, and these cows are very angry. And really, can you blame them? That's pretty messed up. Heard of cows go heads, what's your move? Let's, let's get them. How strong could they possibly be? Not very. I think we got them. Alright, well, I'm, uh, severely confused about some of this vibrato stuff, but... As I've mentioned before, if I need to seek help on it, I will. Just so I can see it. Um, but... Currently, yeah, it's got a lot going on. And I'm not totally what's going on with all of it, but I think I'm starting to piece it together a little bit. Thanks for some infernal soul fragments. Oh, hey. A thin stream of smoke over the next hill indicates a nearby campfire, so you decide to check it out. Turns out instead to be a man strolling around nonchalantly. He's wearing a top hat, which is on fire. So, um, I ran into a mining, a miner skeleton that I fought and dropped me a nugget. And I ran into a hell cow that gave me infernal cow leather, but that's basically the only other things that have happened. Mister, your hat's on fire. Yeah, I know. Don't seem particularly bothered. Well, I don't think panic came to solve anything. Guess you have a point. So, of sorts. So what's your deal? My deal? Well, I'm an artist. See? Some kind of performance art thing? Huh? Oh, you mean the hat. No, that's just a coincidence. I'm a painter. I convince him to take the hat off? 
Is there any need to take that hat off? You'll roast your brain. Perhaps, but think how handy it'll be for reading at night. Shout at him until he takes the hat off. Buddy, I have an inexhaustible capacity for violence and for your own good. If you do not take that hat off, I will punch you in the head until it comes off on its own. Goodness gracious, that seems quite unnecessary. I have to beat the crap out of you to save your life. That's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Very well, if you feel so strongly about it, I suppose I have no choice. Here, you may keep it for yourself. Eight mysticality. <laughs> Probably a nice hat before it got set on fire. Cool. You ride past the woman who is running along the desert trail on foot, and although I say running, it's a slow run with an odd loping gait. She's dressed oddly too, no hat, just a thin strip of fabric tied across her forehead. Light clothing and strange soft looking boots that barely even come up to her ankles. Everything alright? You running away from something? Something pretty slow, like maybe a desert tortoise or... Oh no, I'm jogging. What? Jogging, I invented it. It's like slow running. Where I'm from, we just walk. It's better exercise if you go faster. Not fast enough to actually get away from anything, no. Full out running wears you out. That isn't as healthy. Healthier than eaten by a bear. Alright, look, I'm not being chased by bears. I've never been chased by a bear. Yeah, it's obvious you're lying to not mangled lumps. It's about physical fitness. Bears aren't an issue. Okay, you're right. Thank you. There aren't many bears out here in the desert. Back coyotes, though, you'd be in real trouble. Very frustrating conversation. Dare you to shreds, even without those goofy-looking shoes. And yeah, design these myself. They are not goofy. They're pretty goofy. <laughs> And what good are they if you can't even run properly in them? What? They don't prevent- And they certainly aren't going to protect your ankles. From, uh, coyote bites. They'll be perfectly good for kicking your ass. Gosh, all this exercise made you kind of belligerent. Get the dent down off that horse. How about we see if you can catch me? You ride away, the jogger runs after you yelling, but as predicted she can't catch you, gotta be the shoes. Hell yeah. I mean, I probably could've got the shoes if I'd fought her, but, I mean, I was the one that, uh, started that fight, so. Dusty gets a little skittish, and a few moments later you understand why. A low Nordic drone signals the existence of a nearby hive of Viking bees? You hop down and follow the ears, raid the hive? You get as much on these as you can before sting gets unbearable. Mead. This is honey wine stolen from drunk bees. It's the bees' knees. Gr great. Thank, thank you. <clears throat> I'm trying to wander to see if we can find something that's possibly down here, but... I don't know, I'm just- I'm not finding anything. I'm just getting into all these battles. I do have an item that I should probably equip that reduces the frequency of random encounters like that. I'm guessing it means battles, not, you know, like the, uh, events that we can get and stuff like that. So I'm gonna equip that instead of my crazy ring over here. It's, uh, a ring of getting places faster. So, uh, let's go wander with that on and see if we can get some of the not combat events. Riding along the trail, you pass two cowboys who are shooting crabs, by which I mean they're having a contest to see whose forest can crab the farthest. Ride away coolly and nonchalantly. You keep riding without any acknowledgement of what you've seen. Barely even an eye roll. Very smooth. That, yeah, I mean, that certainly is, uh, something. It, there's gotta be stuff down here. Power it up. I get energized again. And 300 XP. Yeah, I don't think I'm finding any more stuff this way. Found a rough wooden cross stuck to the ground with the words some jerk carved in him. Guess it's a grave? A perfumed pocket square. Soaked in more than enough perfume makeup with the fact it's been stuffed into the potty, uh, pocket of a rotting corpse for decades. Yeah, I'm not really getting any new areas from this. So... This crate is full of mining supplies. Thank you. Huh. Alright, we might just go to that new area that I discovered. Angry looking skeleton, yeah. Alright, I mean... <clears throat> you know, I'll... I'll wander a little bit more, but... There's clearly another Vibrato area that I'm missing, I feel. Unless it's just... Somewhere and I'm not thinking about it? I don't know. Whatever. Let, let's let's go to Alamo Renamule. Screw it. Tree next to you explodes in a shower of splinters. You turn your head slightly to regard a stump with a hatchet sticking out of it, then turn the other way to regard the large bear that threw it at you. Second glance, you see there isn't a bear at all, but a big muscular man with a giant beard and bearskin pants. Howdy. You think you're gonna take me alive? You got nothing coming, pal. I was thinking it was more like, what should I do for lunch? And oh, that's a nice tree. 
I know you're one of them bandit hunters. You ain't gonna catch me hibernating. Make yourself look bigger. You flap out your jacket and wave your arms in the air with a roar. Oh, I'm big. I'm a big, mean human person. Go away, bear. I have a big coat and opposable thumbs. Arr. Okay, fella, you got you got 10 out of 10 for knowing what to do when you see a bear, but I'm not actually a literal bear. You get that, right? Well, I didn't want to assume. He rolls his eyes and gives you a somewhat condescending pat on the head before tromping back into the forest. It nailed it. Honestly. Okay, Alamo and a mule. Place seems kind of familiar. Can't quite place it. Something starts with a A? Hmm. Yeah. Can't remember the Alamo. Hello. How you doing? Looks like this is where you go to rent a mule, just judging from the sign, you know. Howdy, welcome to Alamo Rent a Mule. How can I help you? I'd like to rent a mule. Excuse me, but didn't you ride up here on a horse? Yes. What do you need a mule for? Uh, so what do you need a mule for? Because <laughs> you have a point. Please remember us in the future if your horse breaks down, though. Oh, great. Another customer. As if I didn't have enough to deal with already. What with the paperwork and the heat and the mule bites and someone trying to steal my lunch out of the employee icebox and my trick knuckle is acting up again. Gosh. Sure, it would be nice to get a little peace and quiet, but nope, I've got to stand here at the counter all day and all the hardwood floor isn't going to help my sky Asia, let me tell you. Don't even get me started on what they pay us around here. The mules eat better than I do. Uh-huh. And if that all wasn't bad enough, I went and dropped my daughter's birthday present down a stupid hole in a stupid mine, and will anyone go and get it for me? Ha <laughs> yeah, right. You want me to go get it? What, really? A miracle just occur? Can hardly believe it. Where'd you lose it? Oh, not far from here. A place called Deepest Dell of Mine. I was looking to scavenge some free string to tie up the package with it, and I dropped it. And of course, because it's a bracelet, it, uh, because it's a bracelet, it's round, so of course it rolls down in a hole under some kind of stupid machine. Ugh. I'll, I'll check it out. <laughs> I don't know, I just felt the need to to give you a really fast voice. Just a bunch of features you pay extra for when renting a mule, such as sound dampened shoes, fuzzy dice, extra cargo space, steel belted radials, deluxe eyeball wipers, getting kicked insurance, two way sneeze through air, uh, wind vent, saddle warmers, deluxe eyeball wipers, self kicking tires, steel belted radials, extra cargo space. Okay. Uh. Okay, you find your daughter's bracelet yet? I have not, actually. Um, so deep as delve, right? You said it was down here. Um, where exactly at down here is my next question. Um, and yeah, I don't even remember what the point of all this was. This area. Huh. Um, so it's gotta be somewhere in here. Ooh, um, new area. Um, so, I explored the entire mine, didn't see anything. Um, and the character specifically mentioned that they dropped it down, like, near a weird machine. So I'm thinking I've got to figure out whatever is going on with that Roberto containment stuff. I've got to figure that out, because it's probably down there, I'm assuming. <laughs> because I searched everywhere else and didn't find shit, so... My booze sense tingles. You spur Dusty towards the source of the disturbance in the liquor, sp liquor sphere and find a s little still hidden in the pines. Stop to check it out. Might as well. So yeah, that's one new thing we have to do there. Um. So. Uh, it's a jar of moonshine under the spout. Take it. I got a jar of moonshine. Made from a real moon. Increases your muscle, muscality, and uh, moxie by nine for the rest of the day. Still tur for turning moon into moonshine? Moon bits? I do have those, but... I don't know that I want to use that. We, we should talk to Susie while we're here. Is this thing? Still, you ain't never seen one? Yeah, my uncle has one that makes his liquor out of turnips that he calls turnip teen. This is still all weird looking and has extra parts. Fire it up and we'll see if we can drink whatever it makes without going blind. It's more to try it, unless alcohol poisoning hurts. Okay, so... Yeah, I still need to figure out what's going on with the, the power containment thing. Still need to figure that out. <laughs> okay, I think I see what I need to do here. The coffee maker, I have refreshment set to 6, and this, so we need to decrease refreshment because it says 5 and 6. Now will it work? It will. A perfect cup of coffee. Okay, so we figured out the coffee maker. I still don't know what's going on with power. 
I have to assume it's something to do with the southwest thing that it's talking about, which I feel like is down here. But I'm not getting the place to, to pop up, so... Don't know what's going on there. Um, but we, we got the perfect cup of coffee. Increases my speed by nine and my maximum AP by three. You've never smell, uh, seen or smelled a better cup of coffee than this. It's a real once in a lifetime beverage. Um, so now, as far as the solar array, go, or not this, not, not, not that. As far as the power goes, the power pipeline, the only destination that I would want to send it to now, there's a municipal toilet system, which I don't know why I would. Um, we've already used the planetary matter teleporter to send matter before. Um, sending it to the local solar array doesn't seem worthwhile. Sending it here, it's not needed anymore. The coffee maker's not needed. So yeah, Southwest Construction Facility is the only place that still makes sense to send the power. Um, I just gotta figure out what exactly is going on here. Okay, so, um, I looked up a little bit. Um, basically all I looked up was, am I finished here? And as far as I can tell, yes. I am totally finished here. Getting the coffee, getting the bridge, that was mo that, that was pretty much everything that I could do there. Um, so the bridge was actually used here. Um, instead of getting all of the shit from Breadwood, I could have used this model bridge and crossed with that. Basically, it was a blueprint for a bridge. I could have used that to get across there and get to this other area without having to do the other stuff. So that's just an alternate form of doing that. I was thinking it was going to be important for something, but no. Um, the only other thing I can think of is going over here to talk to the professor. We clearly still have not solved everything with Vibrato stuff. Um, and, you know, by that as well, we have not finished everything off with uh, Roberto and the Necromancers either. So, um... Wait, make a maintenance teleporter. Oh, banish any. Okay. Um, do you have anything to say? Okay, here we go. I just wanted to see if you had anything. <laughs> it's examining something. By the way, I met Dr. Morton. Says, hi. Josie, what's she up to these days? Met her at a bar and she was soaking a rock in whiskey. Ah, still doing her hypercrystalline thomomorphic diorite test. Good on her for being so thorough. That was it, huh? That was it. Okay. So, um, yeah, I mean, it feels like we're rapidly hitting the point where I'm just gonna have to possibly find out exactly what is happening. I don't know what I'm missing for the vibrato stuff. It could just be a location I'm missing. I, I don't know. I mean, I guess I could look it up right now. It would be nice just to kind of go ahead and wrap things up. Okay, okay. Um, I found something. Um, so do you remember my little, uh, my little auditory companion over here? Um, that can be a member of the band. Back, uh, back in the, in the, the first, the first town, basically. So that's what we're supposed to do with that. Um, I'm trying to keep this as spoiler-free as possible. Basically just like, you know. Um, see general things of what I need to do to finish this quest line, but not have it totally tell me what exactly I need to do. So, we're gonna go see our auditory friend. Um, the thing's just booping. So, single button, select, press it. Press south zero. South, ooh. East six? Destination corruption detected. South destination adjustment five. East destination adjustment three. Okay, so I set it like really high. Like I said, it's six six, right? Because I want it to be in the bottom right to go to dirt water. So you're saying south destination adjustment is five. Okay, so let's try again. So what about? Or wait, though, did I press south zero? What about south six? And E6, what do you say? Okay, so it's telling me how much I'm off from. So, south adjustment needs to be one. East needs to be three. 
so south five, east three? Seven different but very similar buttons appear. The terminal beeps and the boopy floating guy behind you disappears. Gosh, wonder where he went. Okay. Okay. See, now this is nice. Just you're getting pointed in a direction. I have so many areas at this point, it's hard for me to keep up with absolutely everything that I need to do. So having something just kind of point me in a direction to be like, there's something you missed here. That is helpful. And this is why I usually do this when I get to the end of LPs because it's, you know, going to be impossible for me to find everything on a blind playthrough and stuff like that. So, all right. So we should have the full band now, I think. Right? Uh, not the kitchen. Stage. Yeah. That's the full band. And I'm in the band too. Now I wonder if there's anything I can actually do now that I've gotten the full band. Can I like tell you the the bartender, hey, I, I fixed your band. Um, need help with anything? Uh, no. Okay, so I don't know if there's anything I can actually do because I have all of the band. Um, it may just be for some music. I I I don't know. I possibly. <laughs> Okay, so as far as I can tell, I think that's all the band does. Um, apparently when we talked to the bartender at some point, we probably got like a little mini piano. I can use that mini piano to change what song they play. But as far as I can tell, that's, uh, that's pretty much it with that. They just play music. So, cool. Cool, cool. I also need to take off my ring of getting places fast. We need to put on my, uh, other rings. There. We. Go. <laughs> okay, so... This, this is a lot. So, the wandering, it is proximity based on whether you will find stuff in the area or not. I was trying to search to the south. The area I needed to find was to the north. So there's an east and west power source, which I already knew. I just hadn't found the locations yet. So, we found this one, and hopefully I can find the other one. I know nothing else about what happens, I just knew that this particular location would pop up if I searched at the Comedy Shack. So, my god. Stop and investigate. We've done it! So, yeah, the, the wandering is proximity based. You can, of course, just find the stuff just by, you know, walking back and forth, but, um... I, I saw, basically, I found, like, a Steam post that was like, I can't discover the curious flat plane, basically. And some, some other people were having issues with it. And you're just, you're just not wandering at the correct spot, um, basically. So, it still looks like that there's space for more stuff down here. That's why I was wandering there instead of up here. But there, there was this weird little area up here, so. Okay. Curious flat plane. We will do this next time. Um, I've been recording for, like an hour, so, uh, got a little bit overzealous on my return, but we got a lot of interesting stuff done, um, and everything, so, cool. We can pick up on some of this some more, uh, next time. I also don't know if I've mentioned it, um, in the playthrough or not, but I know some people asked about the DLC. I will do the DLC. It's like an hour long. I could probably just have that be, like, maybe not one video. It depends on how long it is. Uh, I think it's about an hour based off of what I saw, but with how I play, it could be longer than that. So um, we'll see. But uh, yeah, hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for some more.